Hello again, everyone. I'm Nesbitt. You're the people of Skyrim. And we have another <laughs> a version of Skyrim coming out. Um, now, do I mind? Not one bit. I mean, I'll tell you now as a mod author, um, I'm quite, you know, I'm okay with this. I mean, there's going to be a small uh, cost. We hope it's going to be small. Um, and I think it's going to be good for Xbox and PS4 users for sure. But really, after 10 years, and what I think of this game, I've got no problems with this. I mean, you know, if, if we look online, people always rant about Skyrim and, and the new versions that come out. And Betha said being cynical, making money. Yeah, they're cynical. They're going to make their money. They're going to keep plugging this until the day it's died its death. Um, and that will, you know, it will probably really fade off big time when E6 comes out. But it'll always be there and it'll always be a classic. You're never going to get away from that. Skyrim is the most modded game ever. For a 10-year-old game, it's a brilliant game. And the modding community has made it. The modding community. The modders and the players. Not the people that take the piss out of it to make money off of their YouTube sites or to talk shit about it. Those that have modded it. From the small mod makers right up to the big ones. So as far as I'm concerned, Beth said putting out another title... It's fine with me, as long as the, the cost is minor for the upgrades and um, there's something new there for the Xbox people and stuff like that, you know, um, in terms of performance, those frame rates going up and so on and so forth. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, like I say, Skyrim, when people look back on this, when they finally look back in 20 years, this is the golden age of gaming. Skyrim didn't have lots of microtransactions. Okay, they made their money through the Creation Club and that they tried to maximize their revenue from this game. Would you do any different? No, of course you wouldn't. So for me, Skyrim is a great game. It deserves to be where it is. The fact that they're bringing out an anniversary uh, edition, I really don't give a shit about as long as it's, um, you know, giving something new to people. And it will be from what I've read. I'm not going to go on about all the ins and outs, to be honest with you. Um, that's for you all to decide um, whether it's going to offer you something. But as a mod author, in terms of its creation kit content, um, the engine upgrades, a few things that are going on, and just the fact that it brings attention again to a mod that I, sorry, a game that I still mod, that I'm happy with that. Um, but again, like I say, I mean, people. I, I've watched online and, and people have gone on about this game again and being released again. But I will say to you lot and all you people out there, you know, it's a bit comical really because you've got all these people online that use memes or that create interest in their what they want to do through the game that is Skyrim. You know, and basically I find that a bit hypocritical. Okay, they're putting, Beth said it's putting out another version out. Yes, it has its flaws, but I'll tell you what, for a 10-year-old game, and because of the modern community and because of all the great people that play the game, you know, this, this game is still alive now because of that. It's the most modded game. It's the most intensively modded game. It's the most popular game out there in its class. And it's a brilliant game, and it's got lots of brilliant mods, and that's why it keeps bringing people back again and again and again. And, you know, from, from my point of view, someone who's been in this or, or played this game and, and modded this game for a lot of years now, for, for most of the 10 years, um, you know, I, I, I really don't have problems with Beth said in that regard, bringing out an anniversary edition. Um, and again, I sort of think they'll probably uh, test a few things um, and use maybe some of what's going on in that engine, the engine changes um, that I read about, to maybe, you know, give them some idea about the future with e6 who knows maybe i'm talking crap there but let's you know first and foremost their in their incentive for this is money always money we know this but you know this was a heavily developed game that cost a huge amount of money to make and they will continue to make as much money as they can um but again again i you know you look at the clips on youtube you look at all the channels you look at skyrim is what a skyrim is and uh, people are still playing it. People are still enjoying it. They're still talking about it, you know, in huge numbers. Um, 
and, and like I say, a lot of content creators make money off it. It's a simple fact. I'm Nesbitt. You're the people of Skyrim. Good gaming, folks.